thing of the week, thing of the week, it's your e-ink thing of the week, yeah. Hello there. You know, a lot of these uh, businesses like Big Me, Books, and Supernote have note-taking apps that come with a pretty nice array of templates that you can use as a backdrop uh, to write on. So lined paper is probably the best example of that, but some have grids and some have to-do lists. And there's usually about 15 or more to 20 or more templates that are available, depending on the device that you're using. Um, however, uh, it may, you might find yourself wanting something very particular. And the good news is that all these devices, uh, or at least the ones I just mentioned, uh, the companies I mentioned, that is, do allow you to import your own templates. Now, there's a few ways you can do that. You can oftentimes do that as PNG files, which are um, a little bit uh, particular and a little more difficult to put together. But there's another option, which are PDF files. And PDF files are actually very easy to create and very easy to work with. So that's the demonstration that I'm going to do here. We're gonna use Microsoft Word to create uh, a little template. And then we're going to save that as a PDF file, load it onto a device, and then uh, we'll see it in action. So this is what we're gonna be doing in this video. And I hope you find it helpful and inspirational. Let's get to it. Okay, so what you see on the screen is Microsoft Word, and I've opened up a blank document. So in this particular example, what I want to do is I want to create an area where I can draw on top, and then I want to create lines below so I can make an illustration and then make notes about it. That's the template that I want to create. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to click on there, and then we're going to go ahead, and I'm actually going to bring the cursor down about halfway. And let's go ahead and start inserting some lines here. Two, like so. Oops. And let me add some more rows. So it goes all the way to the bottom. Oops, a little too far. Okay, let's go up. So I'm just using the um, this kind of borders function to draw lines. And I'm going every two spaces, like so. And then we'll just keep it to one page. So I've got kind of my writing area. Let me add in, just for fun, some lines. So we'll draw a line. here, all the way to the bottom, and we'll make this kind of a red line, and we'll go ahead and just add two of those, so kind of come up with a double lined effect, like so, excellent. Okay, so we've got a writing area there. I'm going to go ahead and insert a little area here and we'll make that empty and then we'll maybe let's see actually that looks pretty good is that green though let's change that border and we'll change it to say blue excellent now I should probably should have changed my margins. So let's go ahead and go with, yeah, let's go with a margin that fills the entire canvas. So we can actually add some more rows here. So we'll go ahead and extend these bars down. So you can see, you can just draw basically, create whatever you want. Perfect, okay. And we'll take this and recenter the box. Go up 
little bit. Okay, cool. Now I want to add one more thing. I'm going to go ahead and add an image just as a watermark, just for fun. So I'm going to go ahead and insert a picture. I happen to have one. All right, I've inserted the picture, but already off the bat, it's kind of made things wonky. So I've got to make sure that it doesn't move my text around. And then let's make it a little bit smaller. I drag it up here. Looks like it went behind. Let me change this so that it's there's no fill. There we go. And then I don't. I just want this to be a watermark. I don't want it to be this bold of an image. A oh, format picture. There we go. Okay, and we're just going to go ahead, we'll set the transparency. Let me set it to maybe 70% 70, 70 should be good. There we go. Okay, and so now I've got my template ready to go. Okay, so now I've created my PDF file and I've connected my device um, to my computer via USB cable. Again, it doesn't matter if you're working with SuperNote or Books or BigMe, they all work the same way in that when you connect it to your computer, you actually end up getting um, a device that you can see in File Explorer. And the folder structure varies from uh, company to company. In Books' case, there's this folder called Note Template. So all I need to do is take my PDF file that I created and drag it over to Note Template, and that will load the template onto the device like so. And there it is, I'm ready to go. Let's take a look at the device and see how the template works. Okay, now we're ready to see our new template in action. Here we are in the Books tab Ultra C, and we're in the note-taking app, and let's go ahead and create a new notebook, like so. And this menu comes up, uh, you, there's, here's all the various templates that the device normally comes with, and there's different tabs for additional templates, but we're gonna go to the custom tab, and that's where we're gonna see that template that we just created. So we'll click on that, go ahead and create, and there it is. Let's go ahead and do a little bit of drawing here. And we'll just do a little bit of fun writing uh, just to see how the template is meant to work. So a little illustration, a little bit of text, etc. And there you have it. So now we see from the very beginning, we started this video and in under 10 minutes created a Word template uh, that we liked, saved as a PDF, loaded it onto this device, and now we have an active template to use in the note-taking app. So it's that easy, and hopefully this has kind of inspired you to create your own template, and uh, if you do, please share those. That would be fun to watch. Uh, otherwise, I will see you next time.